find answers, the team of scientists is digging through the ancient river deposits at the archaeological site of Lamy Kong. Let's take a look at the deposits. Archaeologists carefully excavate the layers of sediments, looking for clues to the activities of our humans. Tools, animal remains, and other evidence can help us understand what ancient humans were doing on this particular site. When archaeologists uncover a bone or artifact, they record in three dimensions exactly where it was found in the sediments. Often the dirt is passed through a sieve to recover tiny objects such as teeth and bone fragments. Finally, crew members number each piece of evidence and put it aside for further study. Archaeologists turn to other scientists for more information, whether it was woodland or grassy, for example, or how warm or how cold it was. Using a scanning electron microscope, palynologists can magnify grains of pollen many thousands of times, making them easier to identify. Specialists called zooarchaeologists identify and analyze animal remains found at the site to learn more about how humans might have made use of ancient animals. Humans and their precursors have long relied on other animals for food and more recently for clothing, labor, and companionship. Zooarchaeologists use animal remains to understand what role those animals played in the life of those humans. For example, the parts of animals found can suggest whether animals were hunted or scavenged, and cut marks on the bones can show how ancient